Hi, and welcome to Common Sense Dream Interpretation. My name is Paula, and this is Chapter 15. Today, I'm going to teach you how to interpret your own dreams. I'm going to start with a dream. We will determine the symbols and interpret them using the universal language of mind. Now, as you watch my videos, you will learn the process of how to interpret your own dreams. Um, use what I learned from the School of Metaphysics called the Universal Language of Mind. This is a picture language, and if you think about it, it's the oldest language known to man, and we can interpret it. I see it as a common sense way of determining what a dream means. So really, all you have to do is determine the function of that symbol used by mankind, translate that over to a spiritual language of mind, which is the language of dreams. It's a language of function. Have you ever dreamed of a fence? I have, several times. Sometimes there are gates in them, sometimes not. I want to discuss a very short dream I had last month that included a fence, a portrait, and I was drawing. So here's my dream. I was drawing a portrait of a man I did not know when all of a sudden he was behind a fence in portrait mode. Hmm, this makes me think of something that Vincent Van Gogh said. I dream my painting and I paint my dream. That's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Let's get back to the dream. First thing I'd like to do is get a sense of the dream, kind of like a feeling. Then I make a list of the symbols and their meanings. Now, what this does, it helps me to organize my thoughts, especially helpful in a long dream because I don't want to miss anything. It's almost like an outline you would do for a story you were writing. And after all, dreams are like stories. Hmm. I think I'll make a video on that in the future. <laughs> the symbols in this dream include fence, which in the universal language of mind is a limited thinking. So if you did not know what this was in dream speak, for example, you could say to yourself, what does a fence do? It either keeps out or keeps in, but it limits movement. So a fence limits movement of your mind. Drawing, using imagination. Humans have to use imagination to create the quality of life they deserve. If you think about it, there's never been a uh, invention, never been a project started without first imagination. It's the tool that begins everything. Now, the next one is portrait of man. One reason I think this is really important in my dream is because he turns sideways in portrait mode. So he's turning away. He does like this. He, go, he turns sideways and then a fence a, appears in, in front of him on the side. Okay, now next we put all this together to form an interpretation. Uh, most of the times dreams are related to your thought patterns and actions the days right before the dream. I know sometimes dreams are about the past and about the future, but most of the time they are reflections on the days before your dream, um, your inner self giving you feedback on that. So let's interpret this dream. The dreamer is using her imagination to form thoughts and desires when she shuts down. This process is stopped, limiting, in other words. She turns away from possibilities. <laughs> now, there are many reasons someone would have a dream like this, especially right now during COVID. <laughs> she could have doubts about choices she has made or having trouble believing in herself, having, tr having trouble maybe um, trusting making the right decision, second guessing, um, maybe just um, withdrawing from even making a decision, period. So, and since I'm the one that had the dream, it's my dream, I can tell you that the days before this, 
There were some major decisions that needed to be made. They were very difficult because of COVID that I had to make. And um, I had to use my imagination. And it seems like maybe I wasn't doing this very well. So you can determine what your dreams mean too. As you can see, the symbols are universal. I gave you the meaning of the symbols. But the meanings are personal to me. Depending on how this dreamer's thought patterns were the days before this dream would determine the meaning so that she could act upon it and put it in her waking life. And um, that's exactly what I did. So the next best way to teach yourself to recall your dreams, put a pen and paper down next to your bed. Write the date on it. The instant you wake up, I want you to write that dream down because what happens when you wake up and you don't write your dream down, that next morning, your conscious starts taking over immediately when you open your eyes. You know, what do I got to do today? What's on my to-do list? I've got to get up. I've got to cook breakfast. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. So your subconscious just closes your conscious opens and you're ready for the day. So pay attention. Um, I tell you what too, it, it's really important right now, I think, because during this time period, this COVID era, the it, everything is so topsy-turvy. We don't know um, what truth to believe. There's, there's just extremes on both sides. And everyone is working different, they're playing different, the, um, they're having to adapt, they're looking at each other differently, you know. So I think it's a perfect time to develop a meditation practice, a concentration practice, and to remember your dreams and write them down. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on Common Sense Dream Interpretation. And I tell you, what's really important to you will be revealed by your dreams. Remember, if you want to find out what your dream means in these strange times, you can find me at dreaminterpretationcoach.com. Thank you.